Today we have a special victim. And to switch the current, we'll be using this deuterium fire truck. Uh, power is coming from this transformer driven by a variac. Output is rectified by a diode, charging inductor, and then it goes into a capacitor. The capacitor is that value. Those will be connected across these two clips. This is ground. This one is capacitor, so the idea being is it charges through the load and then once that gets to striking voltage, this can be fired to complete the circuit. It basically goes around in a big loop and then dumps a charge. Fairly straightforward. Okay, I'm just about to crank up the charge. Here we go. Nearly there. Okay, that's about a thousand volts. Okay, three, two, one, firing. Oh, well, that was anticlimactic. Let's try that again. Right, let's try that. Ah. Well, that's boring. Okay, one more time, just for luck. Give it a bit more welly this time. Firing. Okay. Didn't have the explosive reaction I was hoping for. Okay, the result from the last one was not that great, so this one should should be a little better. Let's try it. Charging. Okay, let's try that. No, again, sausages don't seem to explode very well. Unless I'm just using the wrong voltage. Oh, that was a bit more exciting. Look at that, it's full tilt on the Variac, it's probably about 1500 or so. Yeah, it's, it's not going to detonate like quite like I expected. Okay, this time I'm going to try a different approach, trying not to have too much of the fork inserted because it might be giving it too good a conduction path. Let's try and see if more resistance makes more effect. Okay, charging. Okay, that's maximum. That kind of that's become disconnected now. Uh, uh, let's just make sure that's that's it. Capacitors not quite discharged. Why doesn't it? Right, that's just that's just touching the side. Oh god, it doesn't like it to charge up. safe way of oh this is really dodgy okay dodginess aside let's try that okay. okay it's sort of charging now which is good but it's acting like a resistor okay so let's try that doesn't discharge completely. It's trying to make a connection. Let's do it again. Oh. <laughs> As it's charging through the sausage, it's uh, acting like a resistor. That's cool. That's going to get a bit smelly. Okay. Load. That's all I'm asking. Okay, so I've reconnected my sausage. Let's try again. Okay, 
firing. connection. No, it seems to have gone open circuit. Okay, now I, I know most some of you might want to see the tube when it fires, so let's just have a quick shot of the tube. Well, I hope you uh, had some fun, guys, uh, as much as I did, although the results weren't as great as I hoped. We can always increase the voltage for next time. I think it needs more volts. A thousand volts just isn't cutting it. That one looks like it's going to be the next contender once I get the voltage multiplier sorted and the diodes arrived but uh yes enough of that so yeah this is a bit of going over here's the trigger it's just literally a push button and that pulse is low voltage 12 volts through this primary and i'm just getting the output here a diode and then it's going grid one and grid two uh, filament cables coming off of this transformer just here and the cathode is connected to a ground block. It's a capacitor, but it's failed, but I'm using this ground block. Uh, rectifier, charging choke, main cap, and obviously the load area, so it's very, very simple. Um, yeah, catch you next time.